This is Dash. In many ways, Dash is just like any other boy. He wakes up, he goes to school, he plays with his friends. But in one way, one very unique way, he is unlike any boy who ever lived. For you see, Dash doesn't control when or where he falls asleep. With every doze, every nap, every slip into that sweet, sweet slumber, Dash appears in a new and exciting dream of fantastical adventures and unusual foes. Explore worlds, collect doohickeys, swap noggins, vanquish foes, solve puzzles, find pogs in the brand new 2D rip-roaring side-scrolling Adventures of Dash. Hey, I'm Robert Bowling, President and Creative Director of Robotoki. Now, back you know when I left Infinity Ward of working on Call of Duty for the last seven years, there was one thing that I really wanted to focus on, and that was doing something new, doing something different. And that's what The Adventures of Dash is all about. This is a game that harkens back to the type of games that I grew up on that I loved. You know, there's 2D, platforming, side-scrolling, puzzle adventure games, you know, that dominated the Super Nintendo era. And that's what we set out to do with this game. This is a game that's all about exploration. It's about going out, exploring the awake world, interacting with NPCs, solving puzzles, finding collectibles. It's a very sweet and innocent sort of mechanic. But the hook is, at any moment, whenever you're interacting with objects, whether it's a coin-operated you know, machine outside the grocery store, or something at the arcade, or something at a graveyard, you could trigger a dream sequence. And now what I love is every dream is owned by a different artist. They have control of the art style, the direction, the gameplay mechanics, the character designs. Dash is changing throughout every dream, the enemies, and they're all inspired by whatever you were doing or the environment you were in in this awake world. It really takes the player and us on this roller coaster of different experiences. You're constantly seeing something new. You know, wearing the Super Nintendo references on our sleeve. You know, we're not, you know, the goal is not to make every level look like a, you know, old 16 bit game, but, you know, a lot of the gameplay comes directly from that area. The puzzles in the Awake World, I think, have a very adventure game like aspect to them. You find different items, you talk to different people, you find out what they need and what you need to get to help them with their problem. And doing that will get you further in the game, get collectibles, and even sometimes trigger dreams that you can then experience in a new art style. The idea of exploring around to find a dream state that launches you into an, another thing, like that's, I feel like that's the best reward that a video game can give you. If you do well, you get to play more of it. I think the fact that we are actually kind of poking fun at him majority of the time, him falling asleep in almost very dangerous situations, like I think is very comical. Being able to sit around with people who sh uh, share like-minded humor and ideas and being able to discuss and create on the fly and build upon those random ideas and actually see it come together and come to life. We're not limited by one um, character in one environment and what that character can do. Because when Dash goes into a dream, just about anything can happen. I really like that each artist has their own level and I get to see other people's art style within one game. And for me, it's like a dream come true. So we're so excited to bring you the adventures of Dash, but most excited about you getting involved, giving us your inspirations, giving us your passions, and inspiring new levels, new dreams, new puzzles. So check out the prototype video, check out the rewards, find something you're passionate about, and we hope to see you involved. So thank you so much for watching the video, contributing if you contributed. Be sure to go to theadventuresofdash.com or at sleepydash on Twitter and get involved.